Hey, welcome to Sweat and Bullets Ranch. I'm Wyatt. Today we're going to be venturing into new territory with our videos and showing you how we came up with a few injection molds for our custom fishing lures. Hope you enjoy! The first thing we have to do when making a new mold is to come up with the idea of what we want to make, whether that be a stick worm, a curl tail worm, or any other lure you can think of. After we come up with the idea, we jump into Fusion 360 to design our lures and the spacing. We do this by making a drawing of the mold, called a sketch, then dimensioning it so we can put it into our CNC machine. Normally, since it's well into the 21st century at this point, we would make a 3D model of both sides of the mold and tell Fusion 360 to spit out code for us to transfer to the CNC based on the toolpaths we told it to use. But we have quite the dilemma. Our CNC machine was made in 1994, and Fusion 360 isn't quite compatible with it. That being the case, we have to program it by hand, which if you haven't guessed already, takes quite a bit longer than having Fusion 360 give us code to use. The code we wrote for this mold is about 500 lines long, with a whopping size of 4 kilobytes, all written by hand. Before we start machining our molds, we have to get all the correct tools in the tool changer. We also have to get our stock ready, cutting it with the horizontal bandsaw, machining both sides to the same dimensions on our Bridgeport mill, and finally putting them into the CNC splices. This mold is quite the process, taking about an hour of machining time. First, we face mill both pieces of the mold flat, then make the runners that take the plastic to the worms. We then hog out the majority of material from the worm cavities. Then comes the longest part of the entire process. Milling the ridges of the worms is the longest part of making this entire mold. After the 45 minutes of machining that part takes, we move on to the air vents and alignment holes. After all of that, we are finally done machining and move on to the deburring and cleaning up of our molds. Now comes the fun part. After all that work, we get to make the lures we just designed. We heat up the plastic, suck up that plastic into an injector, and inject it into our molds. We then wait for the plastic to cool down, and finally crack open the mold to check out our new, shiny those are some good looking stick worms. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video on how we made our custom fishing lure molds. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe, and share this video. Thanks for watching. God bless.